Hey guys, what's up? By request, I'm going to show you how to play the updated version, version 4 of Pokemon Generations for the Mac. Alright, so here's Zadoku. I don't know how to pronounce it. And he has a current update for Mac right here. I'll provide the link. So we're going to click download. And we're going to watch this download. And guys, unfortunately, unless you have a certain um archive on archiver it's called stuff it then it won't work right off the back this pokemon generations for mac but i will show you a way that works because stuff it costs money unless there's a free trial out there i don't know about so let's throw this onto our desktop did i fail at doing that no i got it okay um, replace sure okay so first thing I'm gonna do is show, show you it with the stuff it archive manager so unless you want to pirate it I'm not gonna show you how though all right the unarchiver I'll show you that in a minute what that does and why it doesn't work but we can fix it okay so here's the stuff it All right, works perfectly, blah, blah, blah. All right, that's good. So that's the Stuff It Expander, and you can choose to buy that if you want, but there's a free way to do it, and I'll show you guys right now. So we're going to go to the Unarchiver and extract it there. Okay, so I'm going to open these two to compare so you guys see what I'm talking about. The one on my left from the Stuff It, the one on the right from the Unarchiver. So we're going to go to Show Package Contents. Unfortunately, that moved it to the right again. So the Stuff It's on the left, guys. Show Package Contents. And that would move it to the right. Alright, so Stuff It's on the left, Unarchiver's on the right. And the reason the Unarchiver doesn't work is because some reason. This is a .exe file right here that the stuff it turned it into. The unarchiver didn't turn them into the executable files. I'll show you some more examples. You see, these should all be like this, but they're just blank text files. So we're going to switch that. We can do that in terminal. So let's open up terminal, guys. New finder window, terminal. And I'll put this code right below the video. It's nothing too hard. Just chmod space plus x. Okay, and always take a space after the x when we're going to do this. So the first thing we got to change is package info. So drag this down right here. And all you have to do is press enter. Change right there. Go into data. Put chmod again, take the space, put all these, enter, hells yeah, hells yeah, alright, and then there's none on that page, etc, mono, ooh there's one, mono, okay, so do it again, space, through config, Oh, it's brilliant, isn't it, guys? There's none there. There's one there. Sorry this takes so long, but it's better than paying the 20 bucks for stuff it. So let's throw the settings in there. And browser. Space. All right, I think there's only a few more, guys, so stay with me. Okay, so that's it for data and I check frameworks nothing there oops Mac OS okay that's the big one that's pretty much the application so we'll throw that in here enter and I think that's it guys oh uh, there's one more 
at resources. This is the last one, guys, I promise. Oops. And there we go. So now let's try it out. So this is the unarchiver one, the one that's free. We just had to change the files. And we'll be a female. And it works, guys. Ooh, first throw. Let's see if I can get that rat attack. Uh Well, guys, hope it works for you. Put some comic comments uh below the video. This chick has a cannon. Alright, I'll see you later, guys.